Today, we are moving on in our study of systematic theology to a new doctrine, that of Christology. Christology is the study of Jesus Christ. It is the second of three branches of theology that focus specifically on the Godhead. In this lesson and the next, we will be discussing God the Son, the second person of the Trinity. The key term we need to define here is the word Christ, which is the root of the word Christology. In popular usage, Christ is often thought to be Jesus' last name, like Smith or Garcia. This is a misconception. Christ is not a last name. The word comes from the Greek term Christos, which means Messiah. So it is actually a title, not a name. What we are literally saying when we say Jesus Christ is Jesus, the Messiah. This is important to keep in mind when we read the New Testament. The writers did not simply throw around the term Christ like a last name. They used it specifically and intentionally when referring to Jesus' role as our Messiah. When you read the word Christ in the Bible, remember that it is a loaded term and take a moment to reflect on what it contributes to the passage. The TNIV translation of the Bible is especially helpful in this way, since it often translates the term Christos as Messiah instead of simply Christ. So if Christos means Messiah, the next logical question is, what does Messiah mean? Messiah is a Hebrew word that basically means anointed one. We tend to think of it more in terms of Savior, but that was not its original meaning. There were many people who were anointed in the Old Testament. Anointing was a common practice of pouring oil over someone's head to prepare them for service to God. The oil represented the Spirit of God empowering people for the task at hand. Most notably, priests were anointed before serving in the temple, and kings were anointed before taking office. Over time, Messiah, or Anointed One, morphed into a royal title for Israel's kings. Each king, in this sense, was a Messiah, or a person designated to lead the people under God. We see this usage in passages like Psalm 2-2. The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his Messiah. God had made a promise to David, which we call the Davidic Covenant covenant, in which he promised that a descendant of David would reign over God's kingdom for all eternity. So in this sense, the title Messiah came to symbolize Israel's hope for this ideal ruler. 2 Samuel 22.51 illustrates this. He is a tower of deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his Messiah, to David and his descendants forever. In this sense, each descendant of David was a Messiah. The people expected each successive king to fulfill God's promise to David. Sadly, the royal robes tended to hang loose on David's sons. No one fully lived up to their expected potential. No one ushered in the era of global peace and prosperity that Yahweh had promised. No one, that is, until Jesus stepped onto the scene. Thus, we see that Christology is the doctrine of Jesus, the Anointed One.